Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about what's going to be inside my kids Easter baskets and their egg fillers. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls ages 11 and 15. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So Easter baskets. I'm going to try and get through this really quickly because I have a lot to show you and I have a feeling that my kids are going to be home any minute. So <laughs> I want to hurry up uh, before they hear me, you know, talking about what's going to be in their Easter basket. Now, I just got out of a no spend and pantry challenge in February. So I was really trying to be mindful about what was going to be in my girls Easter baskets this year, because I didn't want to fill it with junk just for the sake of filling their baskets up because they have really large Easter baskets. So I had to be okay this year with knowing that I wasn't going to completely fill their baskets, which I know that sounds silly but sometimes I do have a hard time with that I know I'm the type of person that over I will overdo things like I overdid their stockings last year oh my goodness there's their Chris I couldn't even fit everything in there some of this stuff that you're gonna see today is leftover stuff from Christmas because I overdid at Christmas time so it actually helped me out in the long run but um, I actually used a lot of gift cards to purchase this stuff this year again to try and keep me you know in that whole like no spend well I I don't want to say no spend. It was more to to make sure that I was being mindful about what I was putting into their baskets and using up resources that I already had, you know, like rewards points and things like that. Um, but before I get too chatty, let's get into the actual baskets. Now for my, I almost said my fifth grader. I don't have a fifth grader, you guys. For my 15 year old, Bella, this is her Easter basket. My girls actually have the same one. And as you can see, it is really, really large. We purchased these at Target a couple of years ago um, after their old baskets had broken. And I, it's giant. Why did I get a giant one? Like, it is cute though. It is super cute. But for what's going to be in her basket, I decided to try and kind of stock her up on some beauty products and, you know, certain useful items that I know that she will use all the time. <laughs> so the first thing I picked up for her is a new shower wrap. Now I picked this one up at Target. Again, I had gift cards and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was really, really cute. I know she really likes teal uh, and things like that. So the color was perfect. I think she'll love this. And her old one <laughs> is in such bad condition. Like it doesn't even Velcro right anymore. There's holes all over it. So she was definitely in need of a new one. Now, the next thing I picked up are these hair wraps. These are like little hair towels and they do match her um, shower wrap. So I thought that that was really, really cute. And then the next time I, uh, item I picked up, um, she actually requested this. She got a pajama set for Valentine's Day and it came with a satin pillowcase and she just really, really enjoyed that satin pillowcase. So she asked for another one. So I did pick her up this like lavender color um, satin pillowcase. Lavender is like one of her favorite colors and she also loves the scent of lavender. So this one is perfect, but she really, really liked that one that came with her pajama set and she just really wanted another one. So I picked up one of these for her. I can't get it back in the package. There we go. Okay. Now, next thing I picked up is actually these um, like little, what is this called? They're, it's a little headset type of thing. What are these earbuds? But these are the wired ones. She wanted a set of wire ones. Um, she does have the wireless like earbuds already, but she wanted some of these. And this one has like the microphone on here and everything. So she can actually use it um, for some of her gaming and stuff like that too. Um, she actually picked these ones out. She liked the rose gold color. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, sneak and go back and purchase these because I knew that she liked these ones a lot. So picked her up that. Now, this is one of those things that I had left over from the holiday season that I thought I'd just throw into her Easter basket. And that is a little um, like anime figure. Um, this is a character that she really likes from Demon Slayer. I want to say it's is it Iro Kodaki? Iro, am I saying that right? I don't know, guys. Iro Kodaki? Is that the right person? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember his name. But yeah, so I know that she's going to really like this one. She loves figures and like Funkos. So this one will be a lot of fun for her. Okay, next up. This again was something I had left over from Christmas. And this is just a little acrylic stand with one of her favorite characters from Demon Slayer. I picked this up so long ago and just never gave it to her. So thought it would be perfect in the Easter basket. 
And then, like I mentioned earlier, we are a homeschooling family, so book, book, books are a must in an Easter basket. This year, I only picked her up one, um, and I actually had this in my closet for about a month now. <laughs> I know that she really really wants this book because it is like a series but this is a manga I don't know how to say that is it Jujutsu Kaisen that was the best I had guys but I did pick her up this book I know that she really really wants the next book in the series so she's really going to love this I'm pro I honestly she'll probably be the most excited for this because she is a huge reader okay next up I picked up some more beauty products now remember how I said that I had a lot of like rewards points and stuff like that and that I was using gift cards this is something I actually got for free because I was a member at um Bath and Body Works so I picked her up this little three-piece lavender set again she loves lavender now I always get coupons for free items up to a certain dollar amount and I always cash those in for like the little three-piece set because this makes a perfect little gift I mean you could just put this in your closet use it for Christmas Easter's birthdays whatever but it's just so cute because you get the three-piece set and it just it seems like a nice little gift you know next up i picked her up some lime crime unicorn hair dye and this is in the color genie now she only dyes like the front and underneath of her hair but she really wanted a purple so i thought that she would really like this like bright bright purple okay I also picked her up some um, deep cleansing pore strips and this is the T-Zone version. So it has like different size strips in here that she can use on different parts of her face. I picked her up a couple of mud masks. I picked her up a lavender again because she loves lavender. And then this purifying tea tree mud mask. I, I got picked this. her up this Paul Mitchell lavender mint um, shampoo and conditioner. Now this stuff is in my opinion kind of pricey <laughs> so I do not purchase this for her all the time but I think that things like this are really fantastic in Easter baskets. I just think it makes it a little bit more special you know so I did pick her up these. This is the smaller bottles because again I was using a gift card and I wanted to make sure I was leaving some room to purchase a few more beauty products for her but I think that she will really love these. She really loves their like it's there's like some kind of like curling cream that she uses um from this same like brand and she really likes it so I know she'll love these okay so the last few items that I picked up for Bella are just these little small beauty items um she had just recently asked because she only wears like lip color she doesn't wear any other kind of makeup and she just recently asked if she could start wearing mascara so my husband and I talked about it and we decided we'll go ahead and allow her to start wearing mascara um <laughs> I didn't want to go straight into buying her like a really expensive mascara. I wanted something that she could kind of practice with and get um, a little bit of, you know, comfort behind using mascara and stuff, a little bit of, it, of experience. So I just picked her up one of these from the Dollar Tree. This is an LA Colors mascara and it's just in the color very black. Now this honestly guys is the same mascara I'm using right now. So <laughs> I'm sure that she will be perfectly fine with this one, but she's going to be really excited. Again, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. It's just lip color. So this is like her being adventurous, you know? <laughs> and then next up, I picked her up two of these smooth whip lip colors. I thought that these are really pretty colors and she loves to wear like all different colors um, when it comes to um, lip color. Now, I would kind of, I don't want to call it wacky colors, but it's like, you know how when you see like pinks and reds and like nudes and things like that, um, that is more of like the classic colors. I feel like these are a little bit more, I don't, again, I don't want to say wacky because they're pretty and these look fantastic on a lot of people. Um, but this is like a green teal color. I know it's hard to see. Let me see if it will. Yeah, you see that guys? You see that color? Oh my gosh. Um, she's going to really, really love this one. And then I also picked her up like this purpley, it's like a purpley color. I think she'll really like that one as well. And these are supposed to be like a matte lip cream. So they're not going to be glossy or shiny. And I know that she doesn't have any matte lip color. She only has like the shiny ones. So I think that that would be a nice little change. And then the last beauty product I picked up is actually a lip liner. Um, we were noticing when she was wearing some of her colors, they were starting to, you know, um, get a little messy and she didn't have any lip liners. And I was like, how did we miss that? How did I not get you a lip liner before? So the one 
one I picked out is actually one I've never used. It's an Ulta brand, but it is like a clear lip liner. So she can use it with any color. I'm hoping it works. It was only like $4 um, when I purchased it. I think it was on sale though. Um, and again, I have that gift card. So I did pick up this like clear, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but this clear lip liner, I think if it works, <laughs> I think this is gonna be fantastic because then she doesn't need to buy a whole bunch of different colored lip liners. She could just use this one. So I'm kind of thinking about purchasing one for me as well. <laughs> Now, last up for Bella is just candy. I did not get a ton of candy because we do put some candy in their Easter eggs. So for her, I just picked her up a thing of Robin's eggs. I picked her up some Reese's Pieces. I always get these little carrots. I just think they're so cute. She got the traditional chocolate bunny. And then Bella has braces right now, so she was kind of bummed that she couldn't have jelly beans um, when it came to Easter. So while I was at Home Goods one day, I found these Jelly Belly Lollipops. I was so excited to find these because it's still like she's kind of getting a jelly bean, you know, uh, because they are the Jelly Belly brand. But I was really excited to find these. And these are just kind of like the traditional flavor. So again, super happy. But let me kind of clean up this mess and then I will show you what I'm gonna be putting in my youngest Easter basket. Okay, so for Lydia, my 11 year old, she has again, the same basket as Bella, giant basket. Um, but what's gonna be in her basket, um, she is still in that like in between wanting beauty products and then still wanting a lot of like toys. So that's kind of what her Easter basket is going to look like. Um, I did pick her up a set of those satin pillowcases though, but her color is this like really deep teal. Um, it's coming, I think it's coming off a little more blue, but they are a teal um, pillowcase. I think that she would really like this. And Lydia has like really, really long hair. So I, th I just think that th these would be nice for her. And it's like a beauty product without it being like makeup because my 11 year old doesn't wear makeup. Now I did pick her up this little relaxing lavender mud mask. My, <laughs> it's so cute. Like when I use something like this or when Bella uses something like this, we use like the whole pack on our face, right? My 11 year old, she's very petite. So she can use this like three times. So she really gets um, a lot out of these like individual mud masks. So she's really gonna like this. And then again, I did cash out um, some of my rewards points to get her a set a three-piece set from bath and body works as well so again i didn't pay for this one i will probably take it out of the box though um because it says thank you cherry much and that has nothing to do with easter <laughs> so i'll probably take it out of the box but this is the japanese cherry blossom three-piece set um she was um really liking this scent I'd given it to my daughter for my oldest daughter for her birthday in January and Lydia really really liked this scent so I thought that she would enjoy the three-piece set okay so the rest of her stuff is pretty much just you know uh, little toys and things like that now majority of this I had left over from Christmas and I was like so surprised at how much I didn't have to go Easter basket shopping for Lydia because again I had almost everything <laughs> that I'm sharing with you left over. Yeah, I know I went overboard. So I had um, one of these scented mystery squad. Is it a squish mallow or a squash mallow? Um, these she thinks are a lot of fun. And again, they do have like a scent to them. So she really, really likes these. And then I also had this dogs versus squirrels. This is a puppies versus squeaks. She, as you can tell, she likes a lot of the like mystery little bags and stuff. And these are things that she does play with all the time. They don't just like sit around. So I'm okay with getting things like this if she's going to use them. Okay, next up, I picked her up a couple of things from the Dollar Tree um, because she was like really, really uh, into the chicken flingers I bought her last year. I, I couldn't get my hands on them this year. So I picked up a couple of different versions of like toys like that. So these are just like little sticky hands. These, <laughs> these can be dangerous. Um, she was going around like slapping them against the wall and stuff. And now my... <laughs> Now my walls have like all of these prints all over them. I mean, it's fine. She was having a good time. I could just wipe them off or have her wipe them off. But she got these little sticky hands. But if you ever watch some of my videos, you'll probably notice stuff like this, like stuck to the ceiling <laughs> um, in my house. So there's these little sticky hands. 
And then um, I found these light up spinners. Well, technically my sister found these light up spinners at the Dollar Tree. And we just thought that Lydia would really, really like these. You know, you just kind of launch them up in the air and they light up and stuff. So this is definitely a toy that Lydia would enjoy. And then I had this left over and this is just like a real littles like mystery box. So I just thought I'd throw it in because I had it. Okay, and then I did have one of those acrylic scans for Lydia as well with her favorite Demon Slayer character, Nezuko, on here. So I know she'll like that. And then she is like super into dig kits as well. She always has been. She is very much my <laughs> go outside and play, go explore, you know. <laughs> so I picked her up this little mystery frog dig. Okay, now for her books, I actually bought her um, three different books that I'm going to be giving to her. These, I might give them to her early because I've just, I've had them in my closet for a little while now. I was supposed to give her, I think I was supposed to give these to her around Christmas, but I ended up getting her a different book or something. But then I had also bought her the third Kirby book. So I don't know. I might put them all in the Easter basket. I might just give these, these Owl Diaries to her early. I don't know. But these are the book options that I have to give to her right now. So it's the Kirby 3 manga, the Owl Diaries Eva for President, and the Owl Diaries The Nature Club. So she got a little bit more books, but Bella's book was actually a little bit more expensive. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, next up. Oh, this I thought was so fun. Lydia loves Minecraft and we were just doing a little like mini lesson in our homeschool about saving money and she's currently doing like a little money savings challenge. Look what I found you guys. Look what I found. It is a Minecraft pig piggy bank. Oh my goodness. This is probably one of the only things that I just re recently actually purchased for her Easter basket. I got this for $3.99 at Grocery Outlet. It was just randomly on an end cap and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's a Minecraft pig piggy bank. I think it's so adorable. She is going to love this. I'm thinking this is probably going to be the favorite, her favorite thing in her Easter basket this year. But I just think that this is so fun. And again, it kind of goes along with that, you know, savings that we've been talking about a lot lately with her. Okay, we're almost done guys, we're almost done. Now this, she's a huge Kirby fan. I picked her up a new hat. Now Bella, I would normally pick up like a hat like this for Bella because we work in our garden a lot coming up, you know, in the spring. And I like for them to, you know, block the sun and, you know, you know, wear sunblock, stuff like that. Um, well, Bella didn't really need one. So I did just pick one up for Lydia. And this is again, a little Kirby hat. I think she's gonna love it. She loves pink, she loves Kirby. This is gonna be perfect for her. Now, this is another item that's been sitting in my closet for the last few months, and this is a angry looking Highland cow. <laughs> I think he's super cute. She loves Highland cows right now. She's very much into like Highland cows and goats and just pretty much farm animals at this point. But he, look at him, he's so, a little, he's so angry. Look at that face. I think that this one is so cute. And she does like to take things like this with her. Um, she plays with her stuffed animals all the time, so. I just thought that this was adorable. I actually have one more of these in like pink in my closet that I'll probably give her for her birthday. But again, I got these like on like a mega sale clearance where I only paid like $5 for each of them. And they're usually, how much are they? They're usually $25. So that's why they've been sitting in my closet forever. Okay, the last few items for Lydia before we get into her candy. She just recently um, got a cell phone. We have been noticing that she has been going out a lot more, you know, and things like that to where we just wanted to have a cell phone for her just in case. So I actually picked her up a little power bank and this one just has a little cat face on it. So, you know, just like a little battery backup just in case. We, we did this, um, the year that my oldest daughter got her cell phone too and we put a little power bank in her Easter basket and she really, really enjoyed it. And then I did also pick her up a cell phone case. Again, this is something that we did for my oldest daughter as well. But this one just, it just, this one just screams Lydia. So it's just a clear case as you can see, but then it has like these little hearts and stuff that kind of move around. Maybe this, you could see it better if I do that, yeah. But isn't that cute? I thought it was so adorable. It's like little glitter, super cute. Um, this I did order 
uh, I want to say like maybe a month and a half ago because it took a while for it to actually ship and get here. So this one I did purchase way in advance, but it is super cute. I think she's going to love it. Okay, so the last item before candy is some earbuds. Now, I just got her a really inexpensive pair of these wireless earbuds, but look at that. It is her favorite character from Alice in Wonderland. It's a Cheshire cat. Um, so I thought that this was super adorable, but I wanted to start off with something inexpensive for her just in case, you know, maybe she lost one or, you know, she wasn't very careful. I know sometimes, um, you know, you know how it is. Kids can lose things. But so I just wanted to start off with something really inexpensive before I invested in something, you know, that was going to cost me a lot of money. Um, <laughs> so I thought these were adorable. I found these at Five Below. And they even had, I think, like a Naruto version um, that I almost got for my oldest. But then I remembered again, she wanted those wired ones. So I picked these up for Lid. I think she's going to love these. And I think she's going to be really excited because she's really been wanting some earbuds for her new phone. Now, when it comes to candy... I picked her up a, a chocolate bunny, but I got her the cookies and cream version. She loves cookies and cream. She loves Oreo, anything like that. So I picked her up this one. And then she also got Robin's eggs and the little Reese's carrot. And then again, she will be getting some of those Jelly Belly lollipops as well. So now I almost forgot to mention that I did pick up something for my dog. My dog does get an Easter basket every single year, but I don't have everything in because I ended up giving it to him early, so I need to go repurchase those items. But my dog does have a little red Easter basket. We do kind of theme our dog's colors, and his color is red. His name's Iroh. And if you know that character, it's from um, a certain show, and Iroh's from the Fire Nation, so it's red. But my dog has this little red Easter basket. Now, I only picked up this one toy, um, this Easter toy for him, because he does have a ton of toys right now. But what I ended up doing was I bought him a ton of treats and then I fed them all to him. So I don't have any left to show you. I will put a picture of the ones that I'm going to be getting. They're just like little um, chewable like beef and venison sticks but I'll be getting probably like five to ten of these to put in his Easter basket but that's all I'm going to be doing for my dog this year. Again he has a ton of toys so he really did not need much. So now let's take a look at egg fillers. So both of my kids do have their own tiny Dollar Tree Easter basket that they do their egg hunts in. And I do theme their egg colors to each child so that, you know, they both have 12 eggs. Lydia has pink and these red color eggs. And then she'll also have a, a small golden egg that will have money in it. And then Bella has this little blue basket and her eggs again are just dark blue and light blue. And then she has the little golden egg as well that will have money in it. But for all of the other eggs, I decided to keep it simple. I did not want to do a lot. I did not want to go out, um, like, try and stress over what's going to be going in their Easter eggs. But I found these really cute um, hair barrettes. They look like little gummy bears. I found these at the Dollar Tree, and they do fit inside of our Easter eggs. So I will be putting this in one of their eggs. And then I purchased a ton of hair ties. So this is like a little rainbow pack. Um, these are like the soft, I said rainbow pack and the first one I pulled out was the black color. But <laughs> you see, these are really colorful. But these are like the ouch, what is it? The ouch free ones or something. They're just like really soft. My kids really like these ones. And again, there's just a ton of color. So I'll just like shove a whole bunch of these in some of their Easter eggs. And then I also got a pack of black. Again, a whole bunch of them. We are always losing hair ties. I'm sure that that's the same for pretty much everyone though. I feel like that's like a common thing that everybody loses. Now, I did decide to add just a little bit more candy when it came to their Easter egg fillers. Um, so I picked up these Cadbury, again, tradition. <laughs> we always get Cadbury eggs. So I got the cream version and the caramel egg version and there's four of them in here. So I could fill excuse me, I, I just got over a cold and I feel like I need to drink like some water or something. My voice I feel is like <laughs> getting pretty uh, like hoarse. But so I have eight eggs total. So they'll each get four of these. So that covers quite a bit of their Easter eggs. And then I also just picked up the small pack of 
Reese's peanut butter um, eggs as well. So they'll each get some of these. Now I plan on making um, a homemade version of Reese's eggs. I do it every single Easter, but just in case I don't, just in case, you know, my plan doesn't work out, I wanted to make sure they could still enjoy some during Easter. So this is kind of like a little backup plan for me, but yeah, um, so I picked up some Reese's eggs. And then um, for Bella, I just picked up a nail glue that I'll put in one of her Easter eggs. And then for Lydia, I picked up these cute little rings on clearance at Claire's that will go in one of hers. So the last thing that I wanted to share with you is actually like their big ticket item when it comes to their Easter eggs. And usually I buy two different like big ticket items um, that my kids will go out and hunt for in like a giant egg. But this year I decided to cut it back down to one and get an item that they will just both share. So I did buy one of these giant eggs at the Dollar Tree and it actually fits the item perfectly. So what I ended up getting for them to share is something actually I really, really want as well. But it is this new Princess Peach um, Nintendo Switch game. We have been waiting for so long for this one to be released and it comes out later this month, just in time for Easter. And I had already purchased it. I pre-ordered it um, with a gift card that I had like, I don't know, months ago. So I'm just waiting for it to come in, but we are really, really excited for it. And again, I'm really trying to cut back expenses. So I did end up just getting one big like ticket item when it came to their Easter um, eggs. So that is it for today. That is everything that I'm gonna be putting in my kids' Easter baskets and their egg fillers. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and let me know, what are you gonna be putting in your kids' Easter baskets? What's your favorite item that you found for them this year that you're just so excited to give to them? As always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.